Hello there, would you like to hear some good news about the Galaxy S7 Edge? Now you can install an AOSP ROM called Lineage OS. Let's go and take a look. Hi guys, so very exciting news. I've got uh, Lineage OS running on my Galaxy S7 Edge. Now this is uh, the SMG935 model, the international model. You can also install it on the FD model, the dual SIM. Also you can install it on the G935W8, the Canadian model. Or also you can install on the, all the Korean models, the G935SK and L. And you'll get the Android 7.1.1. Right, this pretty much turns your phone into like a Pixel phone. All right, so let me go ahead and actually show you the settings here. Um, you will be stripped of everything that you have. It's the colors are slightly different, but this is because it's a custom ROM. Uh, but you can see everything is very similar, and this ROM is pretty awesome. Uh, fingerprint sensor works. Now, coolest feature on this ROM is definitely the fingerprint sensor. No longer do you have to actually press the button here, all right? All you gotta do is place your fingerprint just like all the other phones out there. So I really like that I can just place my finger on there and fingerprint sensor seems to actually work much, much faster uh, than Samsung TouchWiz. So this is completely non-TouchWiz. If you install this ROM, um, you're not gonna be able to use stuff like Gear VR, anything that requires Samsung apps, right? Uh, this is for those of you who want to run pure Google Android, and the Lineage OS is built upon uh, the actual sources of Android 7.1.1. Now, there's actually absolutely nothing not working on this ROM. I've tested everything. Uh, even camera works. Now, you will lose 4K camera abilities just because uh, this ROM doesn't have it yet. All right, camera app isn't the best compared to uh, TouchWiz, but it works just fine. Oops, there you go. And video also works just fine. Um, you just won't be able to use uh, 4K. All right, front camera works really good. And taking a look at resolution, you'll see back camera only does up to 1080p. But a lot of you don't use 4K camera. Um, so if you're absolutely tired of TouchWiz lag, you wanna go back to completely stock Android. This is definitely the way to go. All right, performance very good. Um, if you actually been experiencing any kind of lag, uh, certain apps like Hangouts, when I use it, a lot of times I will get a lot of lag. Uh, but so far I haven't gotten anything. Um, looking really solid and I really like it. Now this ROM doesn't have a ton of features because it's really based on a stock Android. So you really get all the stock options from like a Pixel phone. Uh, there's adaptive display. Um, gestures, right? You'll have to double tap the power button to get to the camera now. Buttons. Um, of course, you can also enable on screen buttons, which is pretty awesome. And you can even change out the layout if you want. So, a couple little customization power menu. You can also add screenshot, sound panel, um, also power button. You can also long press uh, for torch when it's off. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold down uh, the button and the, the flashlight is on. Hold it down again, turn off. Nice little feature. Again, I really love the fingerprint. It's so much faster because you know what's wrong with stock a Samsung phone is that you actually have to press the button and then it will read your fingerprint. And sometimes when you're pressing it, the fingerprint sensor moves around. This is so much better. I can unlock it so much faster. I don't know why Samsung didn't do that, uh, but this ROM allows you to take full advantage of that. All right, um, of course, Google now is built in. You can always go, okay, Google, San Francisco weather. It's 66 degrees and partly cloudy in San Francisco. And there is also a loud uh, sound mod built in. So you'll notice the sound was really loud. Um, so, which is really nice. Sound mod is absolutely important for the S7 Edge because sound is not that loud. But with loud sound mod, you'll be able to enjoy uh, your sound to the fullest. Overall, this ROM isn't for everybody out there. This is really for those of you who want to enjoy pure Android on the Galaxy S7 Edge. Now, there has been beta versions of uh, Cyanogen Mod 14 
and they weren't that stable. I wouldn't recommend it. Nothing was working. This one pretty much has everything working. Oh, I forgot to mention Wi-Fi hotspot does not work. All right, so definitely check it out. I really like it. Um, installation is really easy. Let me just walk you through. Reboot into twerp. Um, you'll have to wipe data because it's encrypted. Uh, wipe data, reboot again into twerp. Do a regular factory reset, install ROM, install gapps, reboot. That's pretty much it. But let me just go ahead and walk you through. Volume up, center home power. Let go of the power button when you see the logo. And you will now be in twerp. In twerp. Uh, what you're gonna do, like I said, go to wipe, go to format data, say yes, right? That will erase everything, by the way. That's how you install ROM with encrypted phones. Um, so make sure you make a backup. Reboot, reboot into recovery. This will bring you back into Twop recovery. Uh, from here, you'll do wipe and swipe to wa uh, factory reset. Go to install, um, find the ROM file. Uh, should, you should have put it into your micro SD card and install lineage after that go ahead and install the G apps reboot and you should be good to go um, also 4GLT works just fine voice calls all that good stuff so I do recommend this as daily driver this is an exciting day having lineage OS means there's gonna be a ton more customization we should be able to see uh, you know, ROMs like Resurrection Remix, AOKP, um, coming up soon to the SFNet. And you know, I want to thank uh, the Lineage OS team to bringing this here. And I heard there's rumors they're not doing this anymore, but I mean, at least there's a base for it. So, so developers should be able to come up with some new ROMs. Exciting day. Definitely check it out if you have a Galaxy S7 Edge. That's pretty much it. Have a great day, folks. Don't forget to thumbs up. Um, if you do have an S7 Edge that support it, definitely check it out. And I will see you guys soon. As always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.